with digital antenna TV, you either get it like this or you get it like this. There's no in between. Now, a lot of people may be concerned about the quality of antenna TV. The station that I'm currently on is um, out of market station, Fox Rochester right now. But as you can see, it's in HD. So this is 720p. There's also 1080 as well. So I can go to a station like WGRZ, which is uh, our NBC affiliate. And as you can see, it's in 1080. And let me just tell you something. The picture quality is absolutely fantastic. There are a lot of misconceptions about free broadcast TV in the United States. Many people think you need an HD antenna to pick up HD broadcasts. This is completely false. A TV antenna from the 1940s could pick up digital signals today. Antennas are pieces of metal that are cut to specific lengths to pick up certain frequencies. A model like this that uh, usually claim 150 mile range, which I can tell you right now is impossible for the majority of the country, just based on the curvature of the earth. But a model like this does not work very well. It will, it'll pick up stations decently if you're in a good signal area. But the problem is it's very cheap. And if you have it outside, it didn't last very long. And you can just see the elements are broken, tried fixing it doesn't work very well. All right, so this is a model of an antenna that a lot of people think do not work still. Um, people, for some reason, think that this is analog. Antennas are pieces of metal. If I can reiterate that again, there's no difference between an HD antenna and something like this. Broadcast TV is divided into three sections. There is low VHF, which are channels two through six, high VHF, which are channels 7 through 13, and UHF, which are channels 14 through 36. Most broadcasters use the UHF band because they require small antennas for reception, can travel building material the easiest, and is also less prone to electrical interference, such as from LED light bulbs. Where that center is, this is the UHF element in there. So again, when I talked about Smaller antennas for receiving, this is what I'm talking about. High VHF antennas have elements that are much larger than UHF since the frequencies are much lower. Low VHF antennas have very long elements because the frequencies are even lower. Now these uh, little elements here, what people actually call the rabbit ears part, these can get extended um, based on if you want high VHF or low VHF reception. So I'll extend these and kind of show you. All right, so I now have these extended all the way and you can just see right now how big these rabbit ears are. They're huge. All right, so here's a model of more of an attic or outdoor antenna. Um, this is a low VHF, high VHF, UHF antenna for a um, moderate to weak signal area. Um, and as you can see, there's these long, low VHF elements in the back. You've got some high VHF, which are the long ones, but not as long. They still are pretty long. Then you've got those UHF ones, which are really tiny. People don't like having these big elements to pick up TV. People like having, you know, tiny little antennas. Please take note that the channel the station uses for identification may not match the physical channel or RF channel number that the station is actually broadcasting on. For example, in Buffalo, New York, there's an NBC Channel 2, WGRZ, CBS Channel 4, WIVB, and ABC Channel 7, WKBW. With what I said earlier, you may think you need an antenna for low VHF and high VHF. This is not true. These stations are all broadcasting on the UHF band. WGRZ is actually on channel 33, WIVB is actually on channel 36, and WKBW is actually on channel 34. With digital broadcasts, there is something called virtual channels. These channels are shown to the viewer. The actual physical channels will not be displayed. A great resource for everyone is the FCC DTV Maps 
located at FCC.gov. It is also in the link in the description below. RabbitEars.info is a phenomenal resource for more technical-minded people. For this video, I'll show you the FCC's DTV search. First, type in your home address or use the Go to My Location tool if you have GPS enabled. Next, you will be greeted with signal legends. Green is best, yellow is okay, brown is pretty bad, and red is really bad. Scroll down and look at what stations you have. If you have certain stations in mind, make sure you locate them in the results. Next, find the signal level using the legend at the top. Once you have located the stations you would like to receive, along with the signal level, go over to where it says Band. Look through the results to see what bands the stations are on. UHF will be picked up the best with a UHF antenna, high VHF the best with a high VHF antenna, and low VHF will be best with a low VHF antenna. Please keep in mind as well, you may pick up stations on an antenna that is not made for a specific frequency just because the signals are very strong. You can look at one of my older videos and see how you can actually get TV signals if the signals are strong enough with a paperclip. And to my knowledge, paperclips aren't meant to pick up TV. Make sure you aim the antenna towards the broadcast towers for the best possible reception. The description of this video contains great models of antennas used for indoor, attic, and outdoor antenna reception. If you want an antenna recommendation, feel free to leave your zip code in the comment section below. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and I hope you are now more informed about digital, over-the-air antenna TV. Western New York over the air.